What's good, guys? Now, before y'all dislike the video for the title, man, um, I was still going to post this. You know what I'm saying? I was at the carnival, and um, I got news that the Mavericks aren't actually getting Goran Dragic, and uh, I'm kind of upset, but uh, I guess I'm going to post this video, and we can take a look at what could have been. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, I don't know what to say, guys. I'm upset, bro. I really thought he was going to go to the Mavericks, but hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video of what could have been, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'll have a video out for you guys pretty soon. Another one shaking my head. I'm, I'm disappointed. You guys are already in my DMs, excited about the big three, and this happened. So enjoy the video. I decided to post it anyway, so there you have it. Goran Dragic to the Mavericks. What's good guys? What's good with y'all, man? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. And if you aren't new, hit the notification bell so you notify every time a video goes live, man. And I just recorded a video for you guys um, that I will not be posting today. I'll be posting tomorrow because this video is up. And I know you guys are excited. You read the title. Goran Dragic to the Mavericks alongside with Luka Doncic and Kristoff Porzingis, man. And uh, this kind of just hit me out the blue. As y'all can see, I'm usually in the Supreme, but I was downstairs eating and I got the ESPN notification and I wanted to tell you guys first, immediately I had plans and I had to, I had to record this video for you guys. So what happened was um, the 76ers are giving away Jimmy Butler in a sign-in trade, right, um, to the Miami Heat. And in order to free cap space, Goran Dragic is headed to the Mavericks. Now, I'm gonna have some highlights playing in the background, I already been playing, but you guys know what Luka Doncic and Goran Dragic can do on the same team. Y'all seen it in 2017 in the Eurobasket. So I'm just like, ah, that's gonna be three European players. I just feel like Dallas is gonna be that place for European players to come and hoop. And who else better? You know, I posted a video yesterday um, telling you guys Kimba wasn't a good fit for the Mavericks and um, that he probably should not go there. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I don't, I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm just excited. If y'all see me looking this way, the highlights are playing. I'm kind of watching as well. Um, but yeah, man. Who could fit better with somebody that he's played internationally with? And it's just, it's going to be a madness. Now, would you guys go as far as saying that they have their own big three? Now, that's the question. Do the Mavericks have a big three now? They, they have a solid bench. They still have J.D. Bur oh, actually, I don't know who they gave up. Um, as soon as I get word, if, if I have to post this video before I get word on who they uh, gave up or if they had to give up anybody, I will got, I'll let you guys know as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, Goran Dragic, perfect addition for the Mavericks. Doesn't need to have the ball in his hands at all times like Kimba does. Um, he's just going to mesh in well with Luka it's going to be nice to have a, somebody that can shoot, a point guard that can shoot. Um, and I just feel like that team chemistry is just going to be amazing. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let's see. I want to I want to make sure something. I want to make sure we're not forgetting anything. Uh, ESPN, Goran Dragic to the Mavericks. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I heard it from Adrian Woj. Not War. I just call him Woj. All right, Woj. Um, let's see if he's been on Twitter. Da, 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 da. Woj, Wojnar, Wojnarowski. All right. So, latest tweets. Ah. Uh, did he tweet anything? It was just from ESPN. So 
Let me actually go to his page. Al Horford. So this is where it all started. Al Horford went to the um, the 76ers and the um, 76ers were trying to get rid of Jimmy Butler. Here it is. Miami is finalizing a trade in a trade, a sign and trade with Philadelphia to acquire Jimmy Butler. Now they needed that cap space. If I can find if they'll let me find it. Here we go. Dallas Morning News. Here we go, guys. The Mavericks. Here, let me let me make this bigger. Let me get all these things off. Hey, watch out, bro. Get off. Oh, uh, they're not gonna let me look at it. Bro, come on, man. Don't do me like that. Mm-mm. Oh, y'all playing me, bro. Y'all playing me. All right. The Mavericks are officially... Hey. Is this the same website, bro? Sports Day. This is the only website, bro. Is this the only website? All right. Let's let's see right here. Hopefully. This is terrible, man. Hearing Goran Dragic also headed to Dallas Mavericks in trade with Heat clearing up cap space for Jimmy Butler Max. Miami also on the verge of acquiring Bradley Bill. Wow. Breaking. Goran Dragic has been traded to the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, the Miami Heat will send Goran Dragic to the Dallas Mavericks as part of the sign trade deal. Uh, but I really want to see this website, bro. I really want to see what they have to say. But I don't know. Let's see. Free agency doesn't begin until June 30th, which is today. But rumors and speculation are running rampant across the NBA landscape. And Dallas, just in the last two weeks alone, a slew of rumors have touched on the number of potential Mavericks accusations, um, including Clint Capella. Probably not going to happen. Kim Walker, not going to happen. Um... Let's go down here. Anyways, let's see. Born in Slovenia, 33-year-old Dragic got a uh, his start in the Slovenia second basketball league, playing for a club named KD something. You guys will probably know that. Um, it's not a lot of information here, guys. But the thing is, the thing that we want to know is right here, man. The Luca relationship. Obviously, when it comes to building rosters and selecting free agents, on-court fit and chemistry should be the first thing. First thing a front office office should look at. But when that fit goes beyond the court and trickles into the locker room and off the court as well, there is an opportunity for something very special. For Dragic and Doncic, it is all they have ever known with one another. Now I'm getting some things from Woes right now. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything about the Mavericks and there's not. But we can talk about everything that's been happening up to this point, guys. If you guys are excited, please leave a thumbs up, man. I'm ecstatic for the year. Um, just in the video I was gonna post today, I was telling you guys that next season, I'm gonna go crazy with all the videos. And this is just gonna make it three times better having three Euro players on the same team. Is it a big three? You know what I'm saying? But, um, so KD to the Nets with Kyrie Irving, if you guys don't know yet. Um, so KD is gone from the Warriors. No Chris Middleton to the Mavericks. Middleton has signed with the Bucks. Um, no Malcolm Brogdon. Malcolm Brogdon signed with, um, who'd he sign with? Um, the Indiana Pacers. So Malcolm Brogdon to the Pacers. Who else? Vucevic re-signed with the, um, the Magic, I'm tripping. The Magic, who else were they looking at? Patrick Beverly, no word on him, and still no word on Kawhi. So those are the big targets right there. Um, Kawhi might be going to the Lakers. Let me know what you guys think about that. But nonetheless, man, please, please, please let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section. I know most of you guys still haven't heard the news. Um, but yeah, this is going to be crazy. Uh, I'll probably have a little bit of highlights planned. I don't know. Um, you guys know how that goes. I say something and 
something else happens. So hopefully you guys had a good one, man. Follow me down on my social media. Don't forget to let me know what you guys think about this trade down below. You guys have a good one. I'm out, bruh.